Hello, my name is Douglas Block. Welcome to the Depression Recovery Channel, where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. Today is Flashback Friday, a feature in which I republish one of my earlier videos you might not have seen that contains really important coping strategies that will help you attain a better mood. Now, here's today's video. The title of this week's video is When It Hurts Too Much to Live. But before we get started, we have to tell our regular joke. You know, the other day I sold my vacuum cleaner. It was just collecting dust. <laughs> the other day I was browsing YouTube looking for some stories on depression when suddenly this story popped up on the screen from the channel Entertainment Tonight. And it read, Lee McMillan, Instagram influencer, dead by suicide at 28. Now, I didn't know who Lee McMillan was, but as I watched the video, I learned that she was a traveler vlogger, which means she went around the world visiting beautiful places, videotaping them, and then publishing them on her YouTube channel. These travelogs became so popular that pretty soon her YouTube channel gained almost a half a million followers. One of the reasons she was so successful is that she was beautiful, bright, vivacious, charismatic, and as one viewer said, carried a lot of light. But there was one aspect of her that was not shown on those videos, and that was the fact she suffered from clinical depression. About halfway through the Entertainment Tonight report, Lee is shown opening up uh, about her struggle with clinical depression and thoughts of suicide. She said, I didn't want to die. It was just that I didn't want to feel the pain anymore, and living was harder than not being awake. Living was harder than not being awake. Those thoughts, those words just kept resonating over and over again. Living is harder than not being awake. And suddenly, these words came to me. It hurts too much to live. That's it, I thought. That's the dilemma of anyone who ever has been suicidal or will be suicidal. It simply hurts too much to live. The key to this sense are the words, too much. Everybody has hurt. Everybody has pain. Right now, I, my left hip hurts, meaning that according to the surgeons I consulted, I might need a hip replacement. Or earlier in the day, I thought about a friend who had passed away and I felt sad. Although these states, these feelings are uncomfortable, I can handle them. But suicidal pain is a pain that is too much, a pain that is too painful, a pain that overwhelms a person's ability to cope with that pain. So what do you do when it simply hurts too much to live? Somehow you have to find a way to reduce that pain, even if it is something very small or very simple that will take away that pain, even if it's just for the time being. Now this pain can come from many sources, but it's particularly problematic when it rises from depression, which writer William Styron calls, quote, a howling tempest in the brain. The problem with depression, according to psychiatrist Charles Rison, is that in many ways, it still remains a mystery. In the February 2021 edition of The Sun magazine, there's an amazing article by a brilliant psychiatrist named Charles Rison who talks about this. And he says that we can diagnose someone as depressed, for example, but there's no one thing that all depressed people have wrong with them. Now, if I had a bad stomach ache, the doctor is going to figure out whether it's a perforated bowel, bacterial infection, or my appendix that needs to be taken out but we don't have that kind of clarity in psychiatry. We're not able to look at someone and say, aha, the cause of your depression is X, and here is the definitive treatment. That is what makes healing from depression or anxiety or OCD or any other mental health disorder so difficult. Some people get lucky. Maybe they try the first or second antidepressant and it works, or maybe they have a one or two sessions of cognitive behavioral therapy and it takes. But for most of us, Trying to heal from depression and anxiety is a long, drawn-out, and frustrating process. After a while of getting nowhere, it can be very easy to give up entirely because we feel so discouraged and so hopeless. So, what do I recommend when it simply hurts too much to live? Well, from my own experience, the first thing I've done during my four depressive episodes is I've told myself, it's only temporary. It doesn't feel temporary. My mind, my brain says it's not, but I know that it is temporary. The pain will end. This too shall pass. The second thing I recommend is to put into action what I call my survival plan for living in hell. Again, 
I developed this in the trenches. Uh, what it is, I found a number of different things, self-care activities I could do to ease the pain day by day. And I call these physical self-care activities, mental emotional self-care, spiritual connection, lifestyle habits, and social support. You can see them listed in the diagram on the screen, and if anybody would like a copy, a free copy, I will send it to you. Finally, live your life one day at a time. Don't think about the future. Don't think about how it's going to be impossible to get better, how you'll never get better. It's hopeless. Just get through the day. Get through the next 24 hours. If you can do that, you can survive your ordeal. I talk about this in much more detail in my video called My Survival Plan for Living in Hell, and I've listed how to get to that video in the description notes of this video. It is not easy to get through a time when it hurts too much to live. But if you can hold on, keep persevering, live a day at a time and reach out for support, I believe, I believe truly that you can find a way to live through this. As Winston Churchill said when leading England during World War II, when going through hell, keep going. Or as I put it, when going through hell, don't stop. This has been Douglas Block. I hope you found the information on this Flashback Friday video helpful. If so, please give it a like as likes draw more and more people to this channel and hopefully some more subscribers. Uh, you can also leave your comments in the comments section or email me douglasblock at gmail.com. If you do want to subscribe to this channel, click on my photo in the closing credits. You'll be taken to my subscribe page. And if you click on the bell to the right, you'll be notified every time I do a new video or live chat. And if you want to contribute to this uh, channel and become a patron, simply click on the Patreon image. You'll be taken to my crowdfunding site. And until next video, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you so much.